they did it. <laughs> Being that robot, you know, you become a part of the story. In VR, you don't see that person's point of view through a window, you're inside of it. I use this technology every day. It is by no means in its winter to me. I think of it as kind of representing a, a mental process, sort of the, the way that we process memory. The idea was we would create an editorial publication completely dedicated to visual storytelling. What if digital books had qualities that don't translate to print? I think it means an awful lot to be noticed more and to be noticed for doing something experimental. Grandma Gill, Grandma Chow, and Grandma Adela are some of the oldest living survivors of militarized sexual violence. They have been telling their stories for over 70 years. To be awarded a prize that we hadn't submitted for, that, that someone had gone out and found uh, the projects, was pretty amazing for us. It feels I like the best kind of award. I think the initial reaction was, oh my god, we got a Peabody. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's, oh, future of media, what does that mean? We've also been applying for financial grants, and having this on the application will help out immensely in the application process. Honestly, like it's not an award that I ever thought that I would win. I mean, I'm mostly an artist, so um, I don't know, it's, uh, it's an honor. I put something into you.